Hello, people. What's up? I am now confronting the problem that this doesn't smash the rock. Shouldn't be that hard. Let's see. Okay, so I think here I want to say if I might have to initialize this variable smashes later. I don't know. We'll see. If smashes Come on, that's my title of my Twitch thing, not... Oh, that's why I put a W instead of... All right, so we just want to smash this rock if it's in the end of the beam. So guy, Where is the position? It's info.target position, I think. Those names probably aren't right. Dude, my computer is so slow right now. It's just it doesn't deal with thermals very well. So we need smashes. Is it just called target? Let's see. Target, not target position. Delta is called delta, so that's okay. All right. 
we're running. God, dude, this laptop is so slow. I'm trying to, I'm tilting it to try to vent more air out the bottom. Like, the fans are really spinning, but I can't feel that much hot air come out the bottom. So it's like, it's just got very poor venting. And it just runs like dog crap because of that. I don't. People who designed this laptop are bad designers. Yes, it is my new laptop. Oh my God. Well, Firefox is going to have to die again. <sighs> Firefox is pretty bad. I don't know why I'm running it, except that Chrome is also pretty bad. All right, so, bam, there we go. We smashed it. All right. Commit that. I'll also send an email about this really fast. If you type a URL too fast into Firefox, it just won't work. It'll just leave a white page. Okay. So. Wait, my camera hasn't been working this whole time. Nobody told me. Why, why do we have no camera? Because it's a computer from the year 2020. mentioned it earlier. I missed it. I missed the mention. Okay. So. All right. Checked off. We were going to make artifacts auto pickup. So like right now, so first we have to remove artifacts from take or drop. Inact move. Do take or 
it's probably where is it? Really? Okay. So this is the thing where we pick up artifacts right here. I should have just searched for the strings. We're really going to cut this out. Bam. What we are going to do is uh, maybe take When you physically move a character, what is it called? Dude, I, I cannot remember anything today, so I'm going to have to chew my gum. It has lots of B vitamins in it to try to turn my brain on. That's what we're going to do. Can't remove any, can't remember anything. Is the gum organic? Obviously, it's organic. It's made out of neurons. So, neurons are organic. The keyboard and trackpad on this laptop are bad. They're not good about it. There are almost no good things about this laptop. It is merely the least bad laptop that I was able to buy on short notice. Pure cocoa and hot water. I do, okay, here's the thing. Normally, I eat really a lot of chocolate. I haven't done that lately because I'm traveling, but I might have to have some chocolate tonight. I think it's good for the, for the mind. This gum also has caffeine. I'll tell you, neurons are made out of vitamin B6, vitamin B12, L-theanine, and caffeine. Other ingredients, sorbitol, natural flavors, calcium stearate, spirulina flakes, what? Why is that in here? Sucralose, monk fruit, and stevia. All right. I think they're just in there for color. See, see how there's little color flakes in there? You saw this gum on Shark Tank, they didn't get funding. Shark Tank is stupid. I don't know why anyone would go on that show. It's like, by going on that show, you're identifying yourself
as someone who's not that successful, signs bad deals, and doesn't have other options. I believe, well, we'll leave it there. I don't know why anyone would go on Shark Tank who actually knows what they're doing. They're still better than a lot of people because they're actually trying to do something. That is true. Well, if you get this gun, will you succeed in the game industry? I don't know. I haven't had it for that long. We just have to see how things go. You're going to have to watch this programming session and see if it goes well. All right now, I've got stuff in my cut buffer that I don't know where to put it. Okay, we're going to go here. We're going to hunt it down. For comp, right? Where is it? Oh. I didn't want the four comp. Commit transaction. There we go. Okay. Do physical moves. That is what I was looking for. Why was I having such a hard time? Do physical moves. Okay. Whenever a guy moves, okay. Were any guys that moved? Pick up. Um, hmm. There is a post move function, isn't there? We could put it in post move reevaluate. It's just um, let's do that in post move reevaluate. Might not be the best place to put it. Hmm. Which way do I want to do this? This is probably fine. Call it A because that's what this other code was called. Okay. This indentation is going to freak out.
Okay. This is more expensive and annoying, but every frame, if there's an artifact, if there's no artifacts in the level, this loop will not do anything, which is good. It just checks the count. Otherwise, it'll do this n times m thing, but both n and m are small. Okay, how's Colorado? I really like it. Like houses, for example, here are just a lot nicer than houses in San Francisco for many reasons. That kind of stuff matters. Okay, um, let's get some artifacts. Let's let's get rid of these guys for now. No, let's not get rid of them. Let's put the artifacts somewhere where they're not in the game. Boom, boom, boom. Look at all the power that I have now. Okay. Um, there's one more thing I want to do before we Benny test that, which is we don't want beams to die in water. Oh, we have to take out the control prompt for this. So now, It's not dot dead. I already feel the neuro gums working. Uh, um, probably in falling. Hmm. <coughs> Okay, so we're only going to set Okay, and if it's a light It's not going to be ruined Ruin light. Okay. So now if I push a beam into water, stays lit. I kind of don't know why it keeps making sounds though. What 
the hell? I'm not in control of that. Yeah, I was in some neighborhoods here in Denver where it's just like, if I lived here, I would actually enjoy walking around the neighborhood, which I tell you is not true of anywhere in San Francisco that I can think of. Oh, it's because we weren't flagging those guys dead? I think they keep falling all the time. Or something. Okay, hold on. We have to debug this. Right, so it's this part here. Okay, lights don't drown. We're going to do that. It's like Charlie don't surf. We'll do one more before we bend it. Great. Huh. Now, you know what? We shouldn't check in until after the bang test. That, that's irresponsible. Okay, one more that we're going to do is the open beam. We're going to have a surprise modification. How long will I be in Colorado, Colorado for? Probably about another week. Probably about another week. Okay. Um, oh, we need a beam. It's an open beam. And we need a one of these doodads there. Okay. So that's great. Now the thing that we actually want though is We want that to work. We want that to open the door.
That's not what we want. So, my gum ran out of neurons. Hopefully they are all transferred into my brain now. So this code that I'm looking at here opens a gate when a player bumps into it. I'm going to factor it out, which means I need to get this assignment of alters. locally, even though we do it above, because we're going to move this into a separate function. Right? Um, we're going to say Paste all this. Actually, let's look at being used. Being used. That actually could be anything. All right. So Okay, so colors is get colors struct opener if no colors return. Do this, don't need this, just do this, just do this, get rid of these. Just do this. So just do this. See, there's two styles of things. There's like deeply nested conditionals, and then there's the further you go in the function, the earlier you bail out, right? Or the, the more probability is that you bailed out. And if you continue to the end, that's the meat of what you're doing. And this function really lends itself to that second style. If you're not afraid of, like some people have convinced themselves that having multiple exit points from a function is like scary. I don't think those people are right. I think if you can write a function this way, it's a very good way to do it. So uh, we have done it this way. Okay. Um, In fact, we'll return whether we open something.
I don't know if we're using that any move anymore, but do that. You find it somewhat scary? I don't think so because like a function like this, what it's saying is, well, in order to open a gate, a bunch of things need to be true and they're not necessarily trivially computable. So like check them and leave if they're not true. And you want to leave if they're not true early because you don't want to perform these other computations if you don't have to, especially like a spatial grid search. You want to leave before this if you can, because this is a little bit slower than the other things. What does guard do in Swift that encourages early returns? I don't know any Swift. Get the most expensive check for the end. That is correct. Usually, right? Usually, that is true. Sort of. I mean, if you want to get into some deep programming philosophy, maybe not. But um, yes, like I am only just now getting to the level of programming knowledge where I'm like, maybe you actually don't want to make the function faster on average because it has some bad effects, but we can go into that at a different time. Um, in fact, I have a whole speech about that. the duplications on alters if wait well certainly this could be factored out yeah you know these things i guess i copied them because the expectations Is this the case where branch prediction has a hard time being right and it's just better not to have the conditionals? No, no, it's a different, different thing. Deeper than that. Um, the, the consistent frames better, better than variable is true. However, there is such a thing as like statistical averaging being much lower, right? If you do this all over your program. But, again, I have a whole speech about why it might be a bad thing to do, sort of. Okay, uh, so let's just make sure that this, uh, I've left this running the whole time, didn't want to do that. Let's just make sure that this works. New position. That is now just called position. Oh, transaction. That definitely makes it spicier.
Okay, so we have maintained our ability to open this. That's good. Now comes the harder part of calling this function at other times that are also helpful. So See, we're not passing the transaction to can go. But we can return from can go result. I guess. The push info, we can put it in the push info. Okay, so basically when we call this function, it might call, so you're trying to push a block and we want to say, can you push that block? Well, it might check the square that you're trying to push it into. If that has a block, it might call itself with that block and so on. So this is like a recursive thing. And um, if you're pushing a line of stuff, this comes back in this push info, all right? So uh, pushes. So if it's one of all these things that you could move, you know, I could just put it in the transaction. Who are we kidding? Let's see. Let's just try this. Actually, Maybe open gate at um, E something in transaction to ignore. Um, what is the entity?
uinfo.target is the target position. Maybe that'll work. Well, right, we didn't do this. So this bumping against gate isn't going to be here. It's going to be here. OK. Did I say tat? I don't find a tat. Let's see a tat. So what bumping against gate? Um, we need to return that. So when we see a gate that you're trying to go to, or equals uh, e dot entity ID. So this is weird. This may be open gate that may also already cover the case of a dude opening a gate, right? Because ta-da! Question is, what if I take this out? I I don't actually think I don't think that, but we can use this here. So when we go back here, could check it. Yeah, let's not worry about it. All right. Should we make a level? Let's make a level. First. First, let's test that this actually works before we get too excited. I haven't made a level in a while. That didn't work. But it does work if I push it still, right? So for some reason, the skipping Oh, yes, OK. Um,
Okay. Hmm. So what happens is the rock calls can go directly. And it is not checking. So we could check this return value because um, this can go gives us a result. We could just put this here, right? So we can go maybe open. Question is, we have to do that for falling, all sorts of things. Right. I would rather not do it this way, though. This is cool, but I would rather not do it this way. We're instead gonna just step through, because I don't remember. We're gonna do this. No check-in. We want to pass this transaction because we want that gate opening to go in there. Wayne Johnson can always go. Did I create this entire framework? Um, depends on what you mean by entire framework. I did not create Windows 10, thank God. Um, whoops, I didn't, I didn't do what I meant to do. Uh, I did not create this laptop that I'm working on. I did not create the chair that I'm sitting in. I did not bake an apple pie from scratch by first creating the universe. There's a lot of things that I didn't do. Really very, very many things that I didn't make. I didn't make twitch.tv that you're watching on. I am getting hungry, but that's different from making things. Bam. Okay. So let's just see where 
because my brain is not seeing it. Okay, so we're going to see it here. Oh, it's right there. Right where we set bumping against gate, obviously. Okay, so... Dude, I didn't get enough neurons. All right, so so instead of even setting this, we're just going to do uh, this. Maybe open. If transaction to ignore. This is a little weird because we know the gate. We might we might refactor a few things. I'm a great programmer, but no comedian. Well, I wasn't really trying to be that funny, so. Great. All right, so that worked. And you know what else will work, even though we didn't explicitly do it? I believe the following thing will work. Let's put this here and here and uh, put this up in the air. Now we have this other thing falling, which is also going to be distracting, but okay, where is this? This is at. 8.5, this is at 8.6, oh, 8.5, all right, ready? So as soon as I move, it's going to fall. Oh, I didn't do it. Because falling doesn't pass the transaction. Um, can go. It does pass the transaction. the transaction null for some reason. We're going to have to debug this. That's a Feynman reference. It's not a Feynman reference. It's a Carl Sagan reference. That's why you thought it wasn't funny because you thought it was a Feynman reference. It was Carl Sagan. Bro. Um, someone on the team is doing the DX12 port. I cannot do everything. Just like I cannot make an apple pie from scratch. I can't I can't do everything. So thankfully we have other people on the team and uh, one of them is working on DX12. Should objects next to a door have the key icon floating over them? Um, maybe. The thing is, yeah, I mean, they should. For now, that constitutes a spoiler, but maybe that just means we have to make that effect better. Like, eventually, it won't really be a key icon, right? Um, So,
The it is mysterious to me why this isn't working, but we got to debug it. Got to debug it. So we're going to I'm going to put this here. We're going to do the same technique where we just redundantly call this. We don't see if we put a breakpoint here, then we have this problem where it's going to fall many squares and we have to keep continuing and it's annoying. Whereas if we put the breakpoint here and just call the function again, uh, it'll only happen at the right time. At what programmer rank am I? We don't really have ranks. Um, we don't have, you know, like some, some companies like Google or Microsoft have like senior engineer three or whatever. We don't really have job titles like that. That Why is my guy doing this? What is going on there? Well, we have new problems. Anyway. Okay. Um, so we have to set our breakpoint. We did set our breakpoint. Are we not running from the debugger? We are. Well, okay, let's delete this other falling entity that's just going to confuse us, by the way, as well. That is some BS right there. So now we've just got our skipping stone. I'm going to set a breakpoint and stop falling now because we're not stopping falling from that place. I think I actually know where. Um, but yeah. All right, so we're going to reset the level. Go. Bam. I bet it's being called for move transaction. Nope. Okay. Oh, the support check right below where we were. This is a little bit special. Okay, so this is actually, there's a support check that happens. All right. This is kind of gross, but whatever. See, right, I should have just read the code. Sometimes I just don't read the code enough. This is only for being in an endpoint beam, right? Here, okay. Uh, 
O. So we don't, if it opens the gate, it could keep falling. Which is funny. except it actually did stop. Well, we can work on that later. It, it works well enough for gameplay purposes right now. So, cause this is, this is up in the air. So, it's not it's not beaming the beam let's make sure the skipping still works oh well, we can't do it this way go good action so what's our best way to make a level out of this Okay, let's let's uh, let's make a release build so we can edit in style. I'll get my mouse out so I can actually mouse around. I'll get a little licorice snack for more brain food. Let's just start playing around. I feel like my first attempt at this level is going to be a little goofy, but it's fine. A little rusty at level, making levels. Okay, so. Thick taskbar. I know. I can't make it any thinner, though. I don't think. Like, oh, wait. It, 
I did this before and then it re-expanded. Maybe it was a Windows update or something. So we'll see if that happens again. I would like to make it thinner than this and I just can't. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so this level is going to have a skipping stone. It has to have an excuse to have a skipping stone. It's going to have some characters, as you might expect. Uh, there's going to be some water. It's maybe going to be smaller water. For now. Um, we're going to have some land mass. We're going to have some gates that this dude wants to get across. And of course, there's going to be tricks. So he's going to have his buddy who. Can push things. So we need a pusher and um, I don't know. Maybe we could do wizard, but that might be too crazy. Let's say thief. Okay, so she's over there. He is gone. It's my settings. Let's not worry about that. Okay, so thief needs to get to the exit. Oh, we need some exits. Put them up here. This map is already way too big for what it is, but it's fine. Okay, so Thief needs to get through some doors, right? Like door, door, door. Okay. Hmm, nope. So this is the trick is somehow somehow make it that the thief has to go through these doors. Anyway, so we're going to start there's going to be a beam down here. There's not going to be any artifacts. Not going to be this many freaking rocks. It's not going to be this much freaking landmass. All right. So, oops. So, I want to have a shape like this where. You know, the thief can't stand in these positions. But a beam can go through. So that's the thing is like. There needs to be something here so that you can't just walk up to this gate and open it. In fact, yeah, but it can't be water because if it's water, you could do the skipping stone there unless – 
you can't push the stone there. Right, so what it could be is, okay, it could be something like the following. I need, let's get, let's get rid of all rivers here. I don't, I don't want rivers. Okay. So it could be something like the beam is up here and I can walk to the exits, but I can't get the beam back unless I can um, fill this square. Okay, something like that, but so so that's my like fake use of the skipping stone or initial use of the skipping stone, or maybe it's even for me to get over there at all. Like you could imagine it's like this. So the thing is, okay, so we're going to do this, do, do dad, and we're going to have this here. And so it's like, okay, already there's two things you could do. You could do this, which you don't want to do. Or you could do this, which you do want to do, because then you get to keep the stone, right? And I'll put these here. I'm going to put this beam over here. I'm just going to make this a little bit interesting. That's all. So. You actually could walk over here the whole time, right? But if you want to get this beam back without filling that, you have to push this to the top row and now you can never get it down, so you can't use it to open those gates, all right? So you could do this and then you can get the beam down, right? And then once you get the beam down, the thief can go out. Well, at least one square there and then another square, and then another square. Um, well, and then you want the thief to have to turn here, right? So let's let's do a couple of these things. So so this is like this, and now the problem is. Oh, well, actually, we could, we could let you, we could let you do the skipping stone just fine, actually. So, like, theoretically, you could open any of these with the stone, but once you've done that, um, once you've done that, you're sad, all right? So, the level is this, I want to get the stone back, actually. This could be here. So like the only way to get the stone back is here, which kind of parks it down there.
Okay, so now here's the surprise, right? Or the, the dramatic part of the level is like, now I can't, I can't do this. The beam doesn't get to me. And I need to open that, right? We could do this. Okay, and then here. And then surprise, motherfucker. All right, like that. Okay. So let's clean this up a little bit. I would say the level is still has more land mass than it needs. We can uh, can get rid of a row here. At least, right? Although, eh, I don't know. I mean, I, I tend to like keeping things compact, but at some point, maybe this means the lily doesn't have to go very far. Maybe it's fine. Okay. So, like, yeah. Let's, I'm not sure if. I mean, so if I put this here, it forces you to push the stone back. Or to maybe not consider that you want to get the stone up there because it looks stuck, right? If I put it here, it means that you're maybe more likely than pushing it back across the water. Maybe you're more likely to just push it over here and then it'll be out of the way, right? Um, I, I don't know which one is better. Sometimes I just don't know what's good. All right. So we do this, we do that, we do this. Well, we actually want to push this one further, which means we need this third line here, but we don't really need any of this past the third line. Um, we're just giving the thief a little bit of space here. It's not claustrophobic. Um, We could even, instead of the thief, this could be someone who could push, and we could start the stone out on this side if we wanted to. I don't know. What does the red beam do? It opens these red gates. Yeah. Okay, the flaw in this level. This level does not work correctly. It has an exploit. The exploit is as follows. Let's just even, let's just turn off the beam for a second. The exploit is this. Whoops, not that, not that, but just pushing the stone into the water there. And then solving the level as normal. Whoops, because now the thief can actually stand there. Right. We don't want that. We want to disallow that. And the problem is, it's easy to be heavy-handed in how you disallow these things. So... Now what? 
I mean, I could put, I could put some obstacles in the middle of the level here, but, um, eh, then you're saying, oh, well, you're only allowed to push the stone here, and that's kind of lame, right? It is lame. Um, we could make a little divot deeper, right? It could be more than one square. Like these guys could be like further back. Let's just. Like this. I don't like that as much, but um, I mean, we have to figure out the pattern with the gates. But so now if you land the stone there, I still can't stand in a place to open the gate. All right. But the thing is, that is way better than blocking with a little island in the middle. Because once you start doing that, you're like, nah, nah, you could only push the stone where I let you. Anyone can do that kind of level design. Why can't the sand lady just open the last gate? That is a good point. That is also an exploit. Um, the answer is we're going to do what my idea was originally and have these be two separate islands where you can't really cross. Um, I didn't ever say that, but that was my original concept. And then I was like, no, it's nice if they come together at the end. But uh, yeah, you totally have that issue where she could push the beam. She could just push the beam and open the gate from the top. Like this, if anybody doesn't know what's being suggested, it is the following. I will illustrate, right? So you already know we can open those left three beams. But she could just do this, right? So that's not very good. In fact, you don't even need a second character. She could open all the gates. So if we make these separate places, see, levels don't always work the first time. They often don't. Oh, geez. Good thing I did that merge command. Okay, so now, like, there's no way that a stone is going to get across. Um, this is a little bit silly right here. Like we actually would like something like that. Now I'm regretting shrinking this vertically because this is all cramped and weird. So I'm going to undo that. And we're, we're just going to get rid of this line for now. All right, not a very pretty looking level, but point being this whole thing, okay, well, you can't get that off the top line, so you got to do this, right, and then you can get it off the top line, but you wasted your stone, but you might think it's fine that you wasted your stone. You might think it's fine, because you're like, look, the thief could go. But then the thief can't can't go. Alright. So 
if you do it this way and you don't waste your stone, then go um that's pretty good uh the thief side of the map is looking a little skimpy we could make the thief a stone pusher but i kind of don't feel like that is that much more interesting we could put the gem on the thief's side right that could be a thing where it's like just a cute little end end of map thing because the gem being over here isn't that helpful we could make you do something to turn it on but if instead here you actually have to like bring the gem back oh kind of don't Could be like this where you just have to so we're putting the gem on the thief side we just give it a little juice at the end right because the thief although i actually had liked i had liked this being up What I could do is move the thief's whole part of the island down one. Like, let me just, what I was trying to do at first was uh, this, right? It's kind of cute that the beam starts out blocked by the gem on the, on the left-hand side. And then the idea would be that the thief has to pull the gem to get around it, but um, they're like, there's not room to do that you know, like if the, if this was like this, right? So the, the gem is blocking and you just depower it at the end and it's just a cute little thing. Um, maybe that's not worth doing, right? I mean, maybe... Like maybe that'll cause people to think too... You know, on a, on a hard level like this, let's not put that in. We're just going to put the gem over there and that's it and we can even get rid of this because that seems a little bit red herringy it's like on these levels where you have to just realize what to do just keep it simple and then because there's no gem on this side we can get rid of like this rank even here We could get rid of this bottom row, but we're just sort of leaving that for aesthetics. And we'll move the ocean. Okay. How did I get the camera there? I need to judge my camera better. It's a little better. So, you know, the thief, the thief is getting the raw deal in terms of island size, but maybe that's okay. Uh, these are not final graphics. These are not remotely final graphics, so I wouldn't worry about that, or for the gates or not. The characters are pretty close. I mean the rendering the, the 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 renderer is weird right now, like the the dynamic range 
just got changed, so a lot of it's untuned. But wait, why? Why is my camera in the wrong? What's going on? All right. So uh, yeah, let's record this. I feel okay about this for now. Maybe there's a way to make it better, but uh, it's okay. There we go. Hopefully there aren't more exploits. You know, I feel like let's let's change it a little bit. Cuz again, like it, it doesn't need as much mass as it has still. So like what if we just do this and we just do this? We like give this give this some space. And you're not likely to want to push it back there, you know, because once you push it on that line, you can't get it off the line. But it's not super tight. It's not like a minimal number of squares. So uh Uh, I don't know. Kind of like that shape. I don't know why. All right. We have to re record because we're starting people in a different position. And we do have to start it out on this line. Right, because whoops, pushed it the wrong way. Oh my god, I'm doing everything wrong, people. Then we push it back so that we have space to stand here and do that. All right, seven out of ten. So we're going to add that to advanced beams, maybe medium beams. Um, it's called skip gate, right? And then I'll put a note on the level and say, and say, possible variants. It would be cute to have a level like this, but where the line is too. to clear a sunken crystal that a skipping stone would land on so that um, the next one will hit the gate. It would be nice if the obstructing stone is itself skipped by the player to do something useful. Okay, so that is our level skip gate. It is now in medium beams. Let's put it on the overworlds. We made a level today. Right side platform looks similar to the ET sprite. Maybe that's why I like it.
are these plain text files going to be obfuscated in the final build or are we fine with people just messing them up? They'll at least be probably packed with other files. I mean, it depends. Like if we do support level editing at some point, which would probably be in a, in a patch, um, then we probably want you to be able to edit these things, right? So it, it, it doesn't matter that much to me, right, right now. Right now, I'm just worried about making the game. Oh boy, look at all that craziness. I'm gonna make this purple just because uh, it is obviously, oh. Okay, this level is skip gate. It's going to start it enabled. For now, Zach can mess with that when he wants. And it's all good. So, we made a level today. That's great. Oh, I've got lots of no check-ins, remember? I have such a good idea for a follow-up level that we're actually going to we're going to run a Benny test and then I'm going to go out for a break because I can have a pleasant walk before the sun goes down here. Okay, so let's do our no check-ins. Um, Oh, I was going to test that uh, maybe open gate. I don't think we need this one. Let's reset up this situation. Um, right, so this guy can open gates just fine. So we didn't need this. Okay, where are the other no check-ins? Didn't need that for now. This is fine, this is, oh no, this one we don't even need, I'm pretty sure. Right? Because that is handled by the same situation.
You know, tonight might be a level making night. Okay. Um, we want this. Yeah, that still works as well. And of course, the following works as well. That is how you party. Okay, we're probably gonna make more levels. This is where I picked up the style of using maybe something functions. It is just something that I do, like, I mean, sometimes you want to do something if some complicated set of preconditions is true, but the caller doesn't want to care about that. And there might be multiple callers and you don't want to duplicate the preconditions, right? And so what do you call that function, right? When I, when I put maybe on it, it tells me when I read the name of the function that the thing that we're talking about may or may not actually happen based on the preconditions. And that's a common enough thing that I just know what it means now, right? So that's all. It's pretty simple. Okay. There's one more. All right. This was this was just our debugging thing. Okay. So that's good. We now need to Benny test this situation and find out if we broke something. All right. How is it going, everybody? What is up? Maybe try doing something for once. How is Denver today? It was all right, although I've only had a few hours out not working. So um, that's why I'm going to do my thing. Although the weather, hmm, let me look outside.
Well, that was not in the weather report. It is a bit cool outside and kind of cloudy, but that's okay. We went from SF to Vegas. I'm thinking about Colorado for a bit. Yeah, Colorado's nice. Like I was saying earlier on the stream, like there's a couple neighborhoods here where I would just be happy if I lived there because I could like, like walking around the neighborhood is pleasant and nice. And like people who live there do that. Like I was just walking around like this is cool. The houses are neat. There's lots and lots of trees. The houses are architecturally interesting and they're decorated interestingly. And like there's other people in the neighborhood just walking around because they like that. And like I have not lived a place like that ever in my life where you would enjoy just walking around. Certainly not San Francisco, um, but also not anywhere else that I've ever lived. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of places in the world where that's true, but um, I've never lived someplace like that. So, houses where there's some kind of big condo. Yeah, totally. And the houses in this area, if I were to buy one, it's one of the more expensive areas, right? But, like, if I were to buy one, uh, it would be cheaper than a really crappy place in San Francisco <laughs> that I could buy for the same amount of money or for, for more money, right? So isn't there a Capitol Hill in Denver? I believe there is, but there is no Chaz in Denver yet. Grew up in neighborhoods like that in Nashville. Yeah, Nashville is actually on my list of places to visit. Um, I don't actually know how well I would get on in Tennessee, but they'll let you have 30 round AR mags in Tennessee, so that's a plus. Denver doesn't. Denver's 15. Still better than California. God, I remember making that level. That level is nuts. California is half a round per mag. It'll get there eventually. Give them time. What's the weather like in Nashville? Let's see. Nashville weather. Oh, it's pretty warm. Well, it's about how warm it is in here, maybe. Let me see. Now, weather, Denver. It claims 88. It is not 88 right now. That is bullcrap, dude. It's like 71 at most. Although, I don't know, maybe it's actually warmer than that, but I'm just so used to how warm it's been that it feels. How about Seattle? I tried living in Seattle. I didn't like it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of really high humidity. That's the thing. It's not my favorite. How about Sacramento? Uh, I mean, part of the thing is I just don't like where California is going. I don't think it's a well-run state. 
Um, so why would I move to the capital of that state? Like, eh. Massachusetts is a pretty well-run state. Yeah, I mean, for Massachusetts, for me, it's just I never, I never felt particularly like culturally at home when I was there. Um, and just like places like Boston, for example, Boston, Cambridge area. I don't know, like it's nice to visit, but I just don't want to live there. I don't know. Why don't I like Seattle? I just didn't like traffic is terrible. Um, you can't really walk to that much unless you live next to downtown like I did. But next to downtown is either you're surrounded by Amazon like I was or it's a complete hellhole at this point, like up, up by 2nd Avenue. Um, and the weather is very gray, which I don't like. And I just, I just didn't click with it. You know, I didn't, didn't like it. Which company would I work for other than myself? I can't think of one right now. Um, SpaceX maybe. You enjoyed Reno? Yeah, Reno is, is a under consideration. I haven't been to Reno seriously in a long time, and I was only past the year last time. Um, so Nevada has many advantages, 0% state income tax, much freer in terms of regulation. And I could actually, if the office was in San Francisco, I could actually drive to the office in like three hours or two and a half hours. Um, so I could do like several day stints and then just go back. So Reno, I want to go, go visit for sure. It's on the list. Would I move the company? I don't know. It doesn't totally matter where the company is. If you decide you're partially remote, then some people are remote no matter where it is, right? Yeah, I have an original Tesla Roadster. 2010 model year. It's actually not the original original. The original one is 2008. Mine was the Roadster 1.5. Probably going to have to do something about that. Yeah, I want to I want to do more design on this room. You need to get the next roadster that has SpaceX thrusters, maybe. Like when it comes to some place like Lake Tahoe, I just, I don't do that much nature stuff. So there's these places that a lot of people really like that I don't, you know, it's like, eh. like there's a lot of great nature stuff around here and I probably wouldn't do it very often. If I looked into GNU, lesser GPL, no, I will not do any kind of GPL, no. 
negatory. All it will be is something like the MIT license or the BSD license, but uh, with a provision for preventing embrace, extend, and extinguish, which I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. Um, I need to talk to some lawyers about that. But I do not like GPLs for many reasons. If living abroad was an option, would you consider Europe? Eh, I've never been anywhere in Europe that I actually would want to live. And honestly, a lot of people in Europe seem really unhappy most of the time. And I'm not sure why. Um, and it's just like as messed up as the U.S. is right now, especially with all these this political harping we've been doing on each other for a while, like the U.S. is still much better for people who want to like start companies and build things and you know run companies. I wouldn't want to run a company from Europe, I'll tell you that. No, sir. Not within the European Union. No, negative. But I think MS are still in the embrace, extend, extinguish game. Um, I don't know. Ask the people doing uh, the whatever it's called, Linux, Linux substation for Windows, Windows subsystem for Linux. U.S. is an amazing place to live if you don't watch the news. Exactly. Exactly. Denmark has, like, the highest happiness in the world. I did, you know, I did like going to Copenhagen. That was a nice place. Okay, everybody, let's see the fails. Oh, this is scary. We have some fails that I didn't want. That's weird. Oh, come on, bro. Copy the stuff. 577 successes. What? Why do these? It's like I have to right click to copy, but then it also pastes. Like, what is wrong with these people? I don't even know what. Okay. Um, this one is one of mine. This one is one that I just played. Like, what? Oh, no, I didn't just play this. Why would this early victory? That's weird. Whoops. Mistake. I wonder if they accidentally changed the level in some way when they did the visuals. It's a cool, this is a cool concept though. It's like a totally sunken castle situation. Okay, I I don't know what was going on with that one. Let me see this one. So we're down to 15. I just want to know if I broke something. So this is my level. It Okay, that must have been just a timing playback inconsistency. So there's some other bug there, but we're not going to worry. We're looking now specifically for things broken 
by what we worked on. And I don't think there is really anything. I don't know what this is. Oh, this might have been the endpoint thing. Let's see. Because I changed the direction that you end up in. Endpoint beams. So I don't want to turn this right. Oops. There, there, there. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh, this is a tricky ass level. See, the problem is I mirror myself into the water if I try to make this beam go to the right. Okay, so I need my guy facing right on the bottom square, which means he has to be down here. Except that also. So like I have to have this. I have to have this facing some other direction. I mean, if I push it down or left, I'm dead. Whoa, that's weird. Um, so all it could do is face up or right, and it's facing up. I honestly don't know what to do. Okay, I need to be facing right here, whoops, which means I need to be facing down there. But I don't have room to be facing down. This might be broken by the endpoint rule, so I'm just going to email about it. But that's really the only new fail that we weren't aware of, so we're going to commit. All right, everybody, I'm going to go on my break. We'll probably stream again later tonight. Thanks everybody for coming by and we will do some more stuff.